In the next series of videos, we're going to get deeper into the tactics of investigative selling. My longtime friend and mentor, Omar Periu, also trained by the great Tom Hopkins, will be delivering solid strategies and technique on how to close the sale, how to handle objections, how to go out and prospect, how to ask the right questions, and how to deliver a rock-solid presentation every time. You're going to really enjoy this series. Omar is a master trainer. He trains Fortune 100 and 500 company sales reps like Motorola and LG, to name a few. He travels all across the globe training sales professionals how to close the sale. You couldn't be in better hands, and I'll tell you, you're going to absolutely enjoy this series. So break out that notepad and start writing down these closes. You're going to find that they are some of the best that you'll put in your arsenal, and you will absolutely be a closing machine after you take this series of training. Enjoy. How are you today, tonight, this morning, this afternoon, wherever you are dialing in from? This is Damien Zamora, CEO and President of Go Mobile Solutions, and uh, boy, I am absolutely freaked out. I'm so excited about the content we're about to share with you today. You want to talk about brass knuckles, sales training, hardcore, how to get out there, close the deal, using lethal sales tactics that win all the time, ways to tackle almost every objection you can possibly think of, of why they wouldn't want to do something that's so incredible for their business. We are going to arm you with some serious tools today. So thank you for joining in. You are going to be excited for today's content. I have my special friend on with me. His name is Omar Periu. Right now, he has the number one book in sales on selling called Investigative Selling. He is a, a, that, he's the author of that book. He was a, the only authorized speaker for Tom Hopkins. Uh, he also, uh, like me, Tom is one of my mentors, and uh, he's taught me a lot of the sales strategies and tactics that I know. And he personally coached uh, Omar and worked with him uh, as Omar developed his career. Now, Omar trains employees of companies all over, big Fortune 500 companies like Lexus and Motorola and Oracle. Uh, he even recently wrote a negotiations course for Donald Trump. This guy knows how to close sales. He knows how to close sales in almost any type of business. And what, what I like about what Omar's been able to do is he's been able to take all of the things that he's learned over his years and apply them to how we're going to do what we do in our business. So, Omar, are you there? I am. Thank you, Damien. Excellent. Well, listen, uh, we're real excited to have you on board, Omar. Um, you and I have been talking about this leading up to this, so I'm real excited to just launch into the content. Omar, I'm going to uh, turn it over to you so you can tell them a little bit about where you've come from and why you're here to do what you're going to do today. Thank you, Damien, and I want to thank you for your long-term friendship. We've been friends for many, many years, and we met through Tom Hopkins many years ago, and I'm real proud of everything you've put together for everyone to go out there and help a lot of people, a lot of businesses succeed. A little bit about myself, if I can. Uh, I was born in a foreign country. I was born in Cuba, and my family escaped. And when we came from Cuba, we uh, landed in Miami. And at that time, uh, churches were sponsoring Cuban families, and we were sponsored to Joliet, Illinois. And when we got there, uh, we, guys, I don't know if you've ever been to Cuba, but we didn't speak English. We had no money, no credit. No friends, no family, and we've never felt cold air. So it was kind of a challenge. Met a lot of nice people and um, couldn't speak English, though, and struggled a lot. Didn't do well in school and got a job as a laborer in a stone quarry. And a great way to live, a uh, lovely way to live. And I hated that job, so I went out to California and uh, thought I'd be discovered. I, I studied music, and I thought I'd be discovered as a musician and singer. And when I got there... Uh, I lost all my money on the way out. Uh, my car broke down. And I had enough money to get a 200-square-foot apartment, so I got that. And working in a health club, I was training celebrities. And I, I went into sales. I thought, that's for me. I'm going into sales. And I failed miserably. My average income was $147 a month. Uh, not great, huh? It doesn't matter how you budget. And um, I was struggling a lot, guys, and uh, I, I, I was sitting there, and I was praying a lot because I was doing really bad. My car broke down, and I'm looking out the window like some people right now prospecting, not moving, looking out the window, and a man pulls up in a black 6.9 Mercedes, and I thought to myself, wow, if I could be like him, 
man gets out, walks in, and I, I talk to the other owner. I go, he said, who's that? He says, that's Tom Murphy, our investor. Now, you may not know the name Tom Murphy, but Tom Murphy is a gentleman who wrote all the books for Tom Hopkins, and he managed Tom Hopkins. So I got pretty lucky because he managed a lot of famous speakers and was friends with people like Tom Hopkins, Jim Rohn, Bob Proctor from The Secret, Zig Ziglar, uh, you name it. He knew them, and he said, hey, I want to get in shape. I said, I want to be somebody. He said, uh, I'm going to mentor you, and he mentored me, and he changed my life, took me from being the worst salesperson in the company, number one in the country three years in a row, took me to being a manager, general manager, and we own the largest health clubs, United States. I hired a young man, uh, and we own those clubs. I took a $200 compressor and turned it into a whole bunch of money, and uh, I hired this kid named Chin Yi, and we got rid of the clubs. We sold the clubs. And I said, those clubs are called, if you live in the States, LA Fitness. Not a bad story. So I mentored him and coached him. And uh, I do this because I love it. He said to me, we need to have somebody that really lives the training. And I owned Tom Hopkins' training and Zig Ziglar. So they put me on the road. I was the only authorized speaker in the world for over a decade. That's how I met Damien. And now I, I do this because I love it. Went on my own about 10 years ago with Tom's Blessing. He wrote the forward to my books and Zig Ziglar and basically passed the baton to me and said, son, go out and teach what I taught you. And I've taken everything I've learned and what I've learned from all the masters and mentors and put it together for you. So enough about me. Uh, you know, became wealthy by the age of 31, and now I get the honor of working with all of you. So my goal I believe if someone invested their life into your life the way Mr. Murphy did and all these mentors, my job, my goal is to help each and every one of you to give you all the skills and training that was given to me. So you don't have peaks and valleys and you're slump proof, meaning you're making money and you're building on that money all the time. And so my goal today is to help all of you with the training I've brought you and the training is it works for my students. It works for me. I know it'll work for you. So what is investigative selling first? Investigative selling is a method of selling. When I was in the music, in the opera, I studied opera, I noticed that uh, the, if you weren't feeling up to par, you could get into character. Now, how many times you wake up in the morning, you really don't feel like going out and selling? So I thought, what would be the best method, the best Thing that you could think of to be a great salesperson. And I thought about investigators. What do investigators do? Well, first of all, they get into character, right? And they go out and they see people. And then they ask a lot of questions. And they gather a lot of information. And they take great notes. And then they come back with a solution showing expertise and close the sale. They close the case, but we close the sale follow up and follow through so then we get more referrals and we build the business so my goal for all of you is to take you through this method of selling which is investigative selling and with all the training that my mentors taught me I have which I own now I will be able to transform you from no matter if you're a pro or you're just getting started transform you to the next level so let's get into it to be a top producer and I just want to cover a few things to set the premise. To be a top producer, you must understand three things. The first thing is you must have self-mastery. So while I'm going through this training, I want you to think about what the great ones do. And I'm going to cover some of those steps in a few minutes for you. But self-mastery is getting out of your own way. Whenever you studied, whether you studied music or sports or art, your teachers, your mentors always said to you, which they said to me, son, if you want to hit the high C, that's the money note is a tenor. If you want to hit the high C, you got to get out of your own way. Because if you think too much about that note, you're going to lock up. And he said, just place the voice, open your mouth, set the breath, and let it flow. And I would hit high Cs and high C plus and Ds. But if when I thought about it, and I didn't do the disciplines that he taught me, my mentor taught me, I would lock up. So I want all of you to start thinking about getting out of your own way and just follow the training and it will work for you. 
So self-mastery is the first thing. The second thing, the tools. I'm going to give you the tools tonight, and I'll continue to give you the tools so all of you can build upon it. I have a little thing, a little saying that if you take one of my skills every week for the next 52 weeks, you will double, triple, quadruple your income. I know because I've seen it work for millions of my students. So the tools. The next thing is to take massive and immediate action. You know, one thing I love about Damien, and I've known him for many years, is that he takes a lot of massive and immediate action. So you've got to take action now, today. And I want you to ingrain that. From now on, when you hear take action, I want you to hear my voice saying, now, today. Let's do it. To, just say it right now while you're in your, you're watching the webinar. Say, take action when? Now, today. Take action when? Now, today. I want you to reprogram yourself because that's now, how you're going to make money. That's right. <laughs> now, today. Right? If you take action now, today, you're going to make money. So self-mastery. Mastering yourself, the disciplines of a champion. Number two, be the tools which we're going to cover now. And C is to don't just look at these notes for the next um, few weeks. You know, it takes 21 days to change, Damien. So I want everyone to take these notes for the next 21 days and review them every morning during the day and at night before you go to sleep. Because I want you to master all of these skills one a week for 52 weeks. And I promise you, Heart to heart, I will change your life forever because it changed my life and it changed Damien's life. And we have done very well in our life and we want the same for you and your families. So let's get into it. Here it is. Take action now when? Today.